What's going on, believers? Saitama, I just did a 20-minute video explaining to you all of the problems that I had with the white paper in Saita Realty. And then I started watching it myself, and I started realizing that I look like an idiot because in the end, there were a few spelling errors, there were a few problems with it, there were a few things that to me don't really make a whole lot of sense. And I think that we're pandering to people in certain ways when we do this, but at the end, I'm going to be invested in it. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right. All right, guys, we're going to stick with this one-to-one -one here because this is working for me. Cider Realty. I went through all 14 pages, and I was annoyed by some of it but not for any real specific reason. I was annoyed because there were typos. There were spelling errors. There were things that I didn't like. I was annoyed because I looked at it and it didn't give me who's in charge of any real estate. It just told me that Saitama LLC run by the six heads that we see all the time are in charge of that. And then that there were five other people who were going to be in charge of Saita Realty for the token, but it doesn't tell me who's doing anything for Cider Realty and actually buying and selling property or anything like that. So I have no idea what's going on there, and my confidence could be a little bit higher if they give me some of that information on Tuesday. But the important thing was this, take the typos away and take the team away and not knowing what's going on. The other thing that annoyed me was that I was getting pandered to and I was getting treated like I'm not intelligent, and I don't like that, and I don't like when they treat you like you're not intelligent, because they say things like affordable housing for veterans, non-veterans, and refugees. Guys, veterans, non-veterans, and refugees, that encompasses everybody who needs affordable housing. They pandered to you because they think that you are a fool, and I don't like that. They could word these things a whole lot better. This is a hype mechanism that they were using, and I didn't appreciate it when I was reading it. And there are plenty of things that they've done in there that are just based on hype. Um, I live in an area where if you build a strip mall, it's dead in a year. I live in an area where if you build a shopping center, nobody's coming to it. This is 2022. We're buying stuff off Amazon, so I didn't see the value in some of the things that they said. Then I started to realize, you know what, some of these businesses, if you have ready-made buildings, are still going to be out there because you know what, we all need to go out to buy new cell phones, we all need to go out to, to buy food, so if you create the facilities that cater to the right places, then you could be fine. And I should give them at least the credit for, for the possibility that they understand that because I don't think that they don't understand that. So... I ended up good with almost everything as I went through this whole process. The place where I failed to appreciate them was I don't know who's in charge of the project. And they put a whole bunch of pie in the sky sort of really insulting sort of things. Then they got me, you know, by the time I got halfway through, I think it was about halfway through, they got me to the point where I changed my mind to, you know what, sign me up. Because the tokenomics, I didn't appreciate that it was a 9% tax on everything, but I understood the necessity for it because here are the things that are going to matter that we really haven't talked about that anybody hasn't really touched on. Passive income in USD, quarterly revenue, uh, charity for homeless veterans, and then uh, they are really focused with the tokenomics on centralized exchanges because they believe that this is going to spread out the wealth uh, of the token so that they can spread out the wealth of creating opportunities for affordable housing and stuff like that. And, and, and again, like I'm not against any of that, but what struck me was passive income. So what I can now do is I can take my Saitama or some of it and I can buy Saita Realty tokens and then all I have to do is hold them and I'm done. Are you kidding me? That sounds like a great idea. Uh, then I'm going to get paid in a passive income in USD and quarterly revenue. Now, the reason that that matters is because that is an immediate 
and specific utility, the likes of which you have rarely seen and that is becoming a hot button topic in crypto communities right now. So that is an amazing opportunity. You're going to be able to buy Saitama. You're going to be able to convert your Saitama to Saita Realty. Then you're going to be able to hold your Saita Realty. And if this Realty company starts to take off as an investor, you are going to make passive income and they are basically going to pay you in USD. They do say ETH, by the way, if you would prefer. And then quarterly revenue, um, presumably from some sort of, um, however they're going to do it, I'm not going to speculate. But this is a great opportunity. If you're looking for staking, you just found staking. And you just found staking in a great way. It's not just the staking of, uh, if you loan me some crypto, I'm going to give you back some crypto. These guys are going to pay you money for your site of realty. Now, if you like money and you like crypto, there's some really weird guy that says that all the time. But guess what? I like money and I like crypto. So I have a feeling this is going to be a very good opportunity. It's going to be a good opportunity for all of us. I'm going to go into Saitama Realty with a positive attitude about it, even though please redo the white paper because it's embarrassing. I'm going to go in. And I'm going to take a good position. I'm not going to be the big whale. I'm not going to be one of those big whales. It just doesn't work that way for me yet. But I'm going to be in there. And I believe that this is going to be something that is, if not phenomenal, it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be an opportunity for those of us who believe to make ourselves a little bit of money and uh, you know what if they do some of the things that they pie in the sky with that I didn't really like that I didn't really appreciate if they do accomplish some of that then guess what then I'm part of something better than me because they are building affordable housing for people who need it they are building affordable housing for veterans or non-veterans or refugees they're taking care of all the people who most in society need to be taken care of right now and I don't want to get off on a rant and I don't want to but it is important and it is incumbent upon those that can to help some of the people who cannot because they can't rise up from their position and they have no opportunity if these guys come through and they create that opportunity then they will have made the world a better place and I want to be part of that and that's all I can say Guys, this is not financial advice. Take your profits on the way up. Do not invest more than you can afford to lose. Don't stare at the charts. Go outside. Get yourself some sun. Live your life. That money will go for you if you do it right. And I'm always right. Have a good weekend. Looking for the good life. Good life. I want you to go